Are you guys a couple? Drum roll. <laughs> hey guys, we are the Wedding Authors. So for today's video, we have prepared some questions for each other. And we're also going to be answering some questions that you guys asked us on Instagram. We'll also be announcing the winner of the giveaway competition that we did in our last video. So be sure to watch until the end of the video to find out who won. So let's start. How do you get started in photography? Oh, um, wow. To be honest, it's kind of by luck. After I graduated from NAFA, right? Mm. Then I was searching for a job and there so happened to be this full-time position open for photographer's assistant. Oh, wow. At that point of time, photography was something where you travel the world, yeah. you see different things right, right. and it was fun. So I decided to go for it. So it was an out of curiosity thing or you know, you had like really some kind of a, you knew you wanted to be a I didn't know. You didn't you I, didn't know. I have absolutely no so idea. So you were just like a curiosity yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Right, right. I just don't want a desk job. Ah, I see, I see. Mm. So you actually thought that you could travel the world yeah, and do that. I know, right? <laughs> so and, and did did it become <laughs> did, did that happen? Did that realize? The only time I ever traveled out of the country in while I was still in the job, right, was Hong Kong. Like only oh, one really? time. Wow, yeah. at least you oh wow. Okay. Yeah, at least I did manage yeah, to yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Who or what inspires you? Who or what inspires me? For me, personally, I don't really have any like one true role model. For me, I'm a bit unorthodox. Mm. Like how I started, you know, I, I didn't I didn't go to any school that taught like media or anything. Like I came from a product design background, right? Yeah. So that's why I studied as a diploma. And uh, I, I would say I, I didn't even have uh, interest, you know, in photography or s cinematography or videography back then like mm. i had zero interest in that mm. you know I, I used to think like photography is you know it's it's a very like lowly paid job it's you know job. yeah oh, no. <laughs> yeah the sunset no la. i would say youtube youtube is my real inspiration i won't say which particular youtuber because like mm. i really feel like you know none of them is that impactful that really made such a positive you know change in my life but mm. uh but i think it's it's really from everyone, you know, I really pick, you know, the best tips from everyone, and and that somehow uh, became my inspiration and my style, I guess, like you can call it. So tell me, who is your biggest idol? <laughs> <laughs> is it Brandon Chu? <laughs> Brandon Chu. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's end it there, right? Okay. Next question. I I think uh, in photography, it's almost similar to yours. There right. there isn't really one person who uh very impacted me oh but i wouldn't consider him a man uh, 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 an idol right more like a mentor yeah more like a mentor my very first mentor right andrew is it andrew Pua. Right, okay. yeah uh, so if you look at my earlier works right it is extremely similar to his style right yeah it's almost like a copy Oh wow, Andrew, if you're listening to this. <laughs> yeah, actually, I spoke I spoke to him before. Yeah. Uh, so regarding this, uh... yeah, yeah. So this weather, you remember we talked about imposter syndrome? Yes. It, it was a really huge thing in right. in my journey as a photographer. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So it's only recently that I've decided to break through. Mm -hmm. I think it really has to change. Something has to change. So, but how how do you break through from? So like you said, right, um, the only way to overcome it is to go out and shoot more. Right. Yeah, just keep shooting. Ooh. Mm. If you get to choose to shoot a pre-writing, mm -hmm. what kind of, do you have a subject in mind? Like, is there something that, a, a dream pre-writing that you want to shoot? Mm, I see, I see. I, I, I haven't really thought of this before. I mean, I mean, like, I don't think anyone has really thought about it. I have. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, but I mean, for me, I don't. I haven't really thought about it before. Oh, okay. Uh, but you know what I've always wanted is, I believe like a pre-wedding should have a good story. Mm. I, I think my my biggest uh, wish or dream is to really shoot a couple that can really really portray their 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 love story, like in their most um, yeah in the most candid way. I guess mm. yeah yeah. So you know the video. What, from what I see, right, the video is not like, you know, fake or anything. Yeah. It's just very them. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you know, it's it's filmed such in a way that it's not so uh, cheesy, I guess. Yeah. What's your inspiration behind your photos? Not who, but what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> I think all of us have what inspiration. <laughs> so I won't say inspiration, but uh, like, you know, what's your process, creative process, probably here? Yeah. Mm. Mm. That actually kind of evolved a little bit. Um, Maybe share like how I started uh, with. Yeah, when I first started, right, it was all about the moment, which is not wrong. Seriously, it's, it's, it's not wrong because I am not a technical person. Right. So to me, it's something is there, should it capture it, that's it. Mm-hmm. So I, I really don't give too much care about lighting, uh, even composition, which is actually quite bad for a photographer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so eventually it's all about how do I get them to express their true self? And once they do it, how do I capture it in the most optimal lighting? How do I create a setting, a moment, so that it speaks to them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's 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 multi layered now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So multi faceted now. What is your most interesting lens? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm so like uh, I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I'm like, to me, like lenses, like they really, really do tell story. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think for me, I'm a sucker for like vintage lenses. I think I've worked like over 10 vintage lenses. Really? Yeah, yeah, like really. How how I first got to know about them it was through a, a friend in Hong Kong. Mm. So he actually gave me my first vintage lens because he knew I had an A7, a Sony A7S. Right. Can I know your friend? No, <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> will, will he give me free stuff also? I don't know. The, the reason why I really adore vintage lens is because of their characteristic. Mm. Uh, I think they are able to tell stories much better than modern sharp clinical lenses. You know, it's an imperfect perfection. <laughs> yeah, because to me, I describe my style as uh, dream-like, but sort of organic as well. I think like when you add a dream-like characteristic to your image in terms of visual, you know, the, the story seems a bit more, you know, it looks, it feels better suddenly. Yeah. There you go. The yeah. dream light vintage lens guy. And now we have come to the part where we're going to announce our winner for our giveaway competition done in the last video. So we're going to choose the names with a randomi- randomizer. Yep. Alright. So Just to, yeah, so that we are all, fair, right? We have all our names on the randomizer. Okay. And we're going to press randomize. And the winner is... Shino, makeup and hair styling. Yeah, nice. congratulations. Woo. So Shino voted for real life shoot, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to give a one hour real life shoot, and we will discuss and see how we can arrange something together. Yeah. Mm. So for Shino makeup and hair styling, uh, please contact us on our Instagram or on our Facebook, on our YouTube channel, uh, whichever is convenient. And uh, yeah, let us know who you are and we'll reach out to you. Thanks. Nice. So for those who didn't win, uh, we still want to thank you for participating in in this competition. Um, yeah, I think we're going to have a lot more giveaways uh, coming up in the future. So uh, please subscribe to our yeah. channel, follow us on Instagram, you know, on Facebook, you know, whatever. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, look forward to those. There are still chances, guys. The advice that you wish someone had given you when you first started. Wow. I, I kind of felt like that question would creep up somewhere. Like, <laughs> it's a very yeah. common It's a very common question. But it's a very, yeah. it's a very interesting question. Yeah. yeah. I believe that everything takes its own course. If you have already a strong end goal already, like you know what you want to become, like you know who you want to be, then no matter what advice people give to you, you'll just head towards that, mm-hmm. that goal. Yeah. Yeah, but once we once you let people like hit, you know, people's advice cloud your judgment, everything, then you're kind of I think you'll end up being lost. Like to me, I always feel like do what's right for your what what you feel is right. Yeah. And never ever let anybody question your decision. Yeah. 
So Brandon's advice is don't take any advice. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon's advice. Yeah. Okay, I think this is uh, my last question to you before we go into our our, our fans our mm. fans question. <laughs> Okay, if you could choose another career, oh. what would it be? It is very tough. Eh? Why? If I did choose another career, I would choose something health related. Health related? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, I know. I never right? picture you as that <laughs> kind of person. <laughs> if ever, you know, there's like a life and death situation. Right. At least I will know something, right? At least mm. I will know how to like um, do something. <laughs> what about you? What about me? Whoa, yeah. How come the question turned? Yeah, it is like a reverse All right, okay, wow, reverse. Like, <laughs> we play Uno, is it? Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow, okay. This is a tough one. I never really thought about it. Hi, huh, you create your question and you don't know about it. Yeah, I, yeah actually, yeah. Actually, I didn't really answer. I never really asked the question myself. If I had another career, I think I would become uh, something to do with history. After someone just mentions about ancient history, right? Like on a video that I watch or something, I would immediately go to Wikipedia and like read up on about it. So it doesn't matter whether it's like people related mm. or events related or even machinery. I think it's more about people. people yeah, right. I'm very interested about how people of last time like people of back then you know how they think you know and everything maybe even a curator like a museum creator i was like yeah oh. i actually do yeah. i really enjoy going to museums yeah, yeah. like what, what uh, not art museums but uh how can you not go there? <laughs> <laughs> i like his historical museums yeah yeah really really interested historical museums yeah he likes to dig up the past <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. I can testify to it. Yeah. This I have this question that is more for my own curiosity. I, I think it might be a bit scary for you. Okay, so uh, okay, we have come to the end of the <laughs> <laughs> we have come to the end of the questionnaire. Yeah, what is it? What was your first impression of me? Ooh, this is a really <laughs> personal question. Oh, damn. Damn. I thought you were really cool. Really? Well, how I actually met Rebecca was that there was, it was my first event job and mm -hmm. I needed an uh, uh, event photographer as well. So I went on a forum, an online forum and, uh, and I searched. I went, I asked for a photographer and a few sent me their portfolio and she was one of them. They had a pretty impressive portfolio. So I reached out to her and, you know, and we went and asked her if she would be okay to do a recce. Uh, mm. At first, I, I didn't know whether recces were, you know, like included in like... No, it, but, it was yeah. actually pretty uncommon. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. It's, like because it's eating into the time, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I was like, why not? This sounds like a pretty big event actually. And I want, I do want to know like who this person is lah. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, like, pick, uh, what do you call it? Like an icebreaker. Right? Yeah, because yeah. you'll be filming that day as well. So we do have to establish a yeah. sense of uh, yeah. coordination. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you had short hair also, right? Yeah, then I had like Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I always thought like, like girls with short hair are pretty cool. Really? Yeah. I mean, if you can carry out that short hair look means, means you got character lah. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. So that was my first impression of, of you. Yeah, other than, of course, you know, but yeah, like further down, when I think when we talked, I think we had a chat. They're not so cool anymore. You know? <laughs> <laughs> somebody I could really like relate to, like somebody I could could foresee myself working in the future with. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. know that. Mm. Really? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Reverse. What? What? <laughs> Reverse. You, when the clients came, you left your iPad on the table and then you walked away. <laughs> so that was it. That, that, that was, was that was. Oh my gosh. That was like a bad impression. <laughs> really, really. Yeah, that, that was, that was, that was very funny. But after that, we had a, we had a very long, we had a very yeah, long chat. We had a chat at the, yeah. where I shared with you my, like, Right. My, my vision, right? Yeah, there yeah, we were sitting down at Toast Box, uh, passing time. So we were just there chatting. And and that was a point that I was like, wow, this guy is actually really... Ambitious. 
passion driven. Passion driven. Passion driven wow. and innovative. Very, very innovative. Because everything you did was you you self learn everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh you are very motivated by always doing something new, something yeah. interesting. You're always putting yourself out of the comfort zone. Mm. So that was that was something really cool. Lah. Wow, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. I got a fat girl here. <laughs> fat girl. Yeah. There you go. Are you happy with your answer? Yeah, I'm very happy. I'm so really? I'm, I'm so sorry. Like my answer to yours was like. <laughs> well, it was just cool. It's just cool. <laughs> it's just so superficial. <laughs> so that's where you know that guys are more superficial than girls. Yeah, when it comes to like just like based on first look. So we've come to the end of the questions that we are gonna ask each other, and now we're gonna ask. We're gonna answer. We're gonna yeah. answer questions yeah. that you've given us on via Instagram. Right, so Yay. let's jump to the first question. Is looking drop dead gorgeous a requirement to be a wedding photographer or <laughs> videographer? What, <laughs> Bob? What? I don't know how to answer. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna answer it because I don't admit that. Yeah, man. I'm drop dead gorgeous. Think I'm drop dead gorgeous. So moving on, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. I just want to say hi, Brandon. Has a fanboy. Yep, I have a lot of fans. I I do not know why, but moving on. <laughs> That's a bit too fast, right? You should say hi back. Oh, sorry, hi, <laughs> hi. You know who you are, right? Okay, hi. <laughs> okay, do you want to answer this one? You wanna say this one? Which part of the wedding do you both like capturing the most? I think you can answer that one. Is when the groom cries. <laughs> I don't know why it's, it's it's just so touching. Okay, it's like it's like you, you know, right? Like in 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 our modern society, it's like the guys are always so bottled up in their, in their emotions. And when the guy finally cries or like drop their tears, and it's like oh, it's so touching. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I have to agree with that. Yeah, I really I really think that's a yeah, yeah, right. yeah. that's like the highlight of every wedding. Indeed. Or like actually, whoever cries lah. Yeah. But to me, like I, I don't, yeah, whoever cries, yeah, right? Whoever yeah, cries. yeah. If the if the group doesn't cry, it's like, but the bride cries, I think it's also. Yeah. So I think like, which part? I guess this is the vows part, I guess. Mm. Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah. So the letter, it's either letter reading if they have a letter reading session, mm. or is their custom vows. Mm. Yeah, maybe not so much about the traditional vows because like. Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Normally, the traditional vows don't really have that much impact yeah. as the custom made vows. It's, it's when they say yeah. out their true feelings to each other. Yeah, yeah. That's where the emotions really. Change. So I really recommend everybody to do a custom vow, mm. like during your wedding. It's it's really really, it's like come on man, it's like once in a lifetime. Like you know, I will do it for my own wedding. So yeah, and it really looks good <laughs> on camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Okay, next question. Most satisfying wedding you have shot so far? I would say every wedding is quite satisfying, like in some sort of sense, like because there's there's some more. There's each wedding have their own uh, moments uh, that were really beautiful. So uh, yeah. So but but there was this moment I think in Sean's and Rebecca's. And I thought it was really really beautiful. Like you know when you know he sang it and then, you know he was crying while he was singing it. You know, it was just very sweet. As long as someone cries, you know, it yeah, just yeah, makes yeah. it like doubly impactful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Last question. Last question. Okay, you know what? Uh, can I put this here? Yeah. Can I take this? Okay, last question. I'm going to read out. Okay. Why must <laughs> Are you guys a couple? Drum roll. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was yeah. the point. So unfortunately, guys, I'm I'm no no no. Fortunately, I'm single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am married. Yeah, I'm married to to my husband. Um, but I would say when I first started out, right before I was married, and I first started out photography, I had this dream team of a husband wife photography team, right? So idealistic. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's so cool. Okay, I can my phone back. Like, don't you agree it's cool? Yeah, I guess so. I, I mean, like, uh, I've seen, like, 
husband and wife but I, I usually I really do not know what's the dynamics like you know like because like you see your husband and wife at work I'm sorry no, you see your, your partner at work and then you come back and you see your partner I don't know I just cannot like draw the line the, the, the line the yeah you know it's very hard I guess yeah it's easy to say you know work is work you know personal is personal but I guess it's really hard yeah, yeah so I, I don't to me it's not really idealistic like to me what's yeah to me what's the dream team is like like people that really shoot very similar like similarly and yeah I guess, I guess have a passion for for love stories wow yeah yeah that's more important than that's true yeah yeah then I, I know it's like a idealistic thing but he's right you know like after after being who I am now it's it's really tough yeah I would much prefer it to be separate yeah mm. cool that's all our questions you know Yay. we wish we have more but <laughs> we wish we have more <laughs> no 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 and we have come to the end of the video thank you for listening to our ramblings and if you like this video if you like the content click like and subscribe ciao 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 <laughs> french oh this italian <laughs> okay bye guys <laughs>